Hey folks, welcome to Build Fly Go. So this is our last video or last time lapse of the avionics wiring on the bench. You can see here that we have finished uh, in the last video, we finished the um, sort of pegboard-ish uh, layout and we're moving it to the panel itself. Uh, I didn't put all of the connectors on the, on the uh, pegboard because uh, you know, this is one of the first times we're doing this and we, we don't have a great idea of what links are really going to look like once we get there. So, uh, we, when, when we moved, when we did things on the pegboard, we added a couple of inches here and there, right? So things are a lot longer than, than they should be. Um, hopefully there is sufficient, <laughs> sufficient, uh, service loops for everything. Um, but we sort of figured it out as we went, right? Like with the, with the, with the rough lengths that we measured. Um, of course, folks that do this every day, you know, for a living have a much better grasp of how long to make things, right? Once they, once they measure, uh, the actual lengths or once, you know, early on we did it with ribbon. Uh, you saw we did, we ran ribbon between all the devices, um, which isn't horribly precise. <laughs> uh, but this gave us that, that length. And now that we put it on the panel, we, you can see that we've created braces. Um, you can see on the left is a brace with an Adele clamp. Then there's two little L uh, brackets with Adele clamps right on the radio stack on both sides of the radio stack. And then where the uh, GTR 20, the comm is, uh, there's another um, set of Adele clamps. And also there are Adele clamps on the sub panel, you can see that they are right now just temporarily clipped into place uh, with with Clicos with Clico clamps. Um, but that is giving us the you know the 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 core routings right. Like this is where the harness is going to go. This is where things are going to go, and that's allowing us to set those final lengths. You can see that we've we have a good uh decent service loop there for the the gtr uh those are going to be tightened up of course all of these are going to be tightened up with zip ties uh, we've decided not to do um lacing wire uh mostly because it's a lot more effort right now um we might change this to lacing wire later but definitely for now it's all zip ties um, so you can see that, you know, the, if you look just, just to the left of the, that crimper, that pin crimper, the blue pin crimper there, um, the wires uh, go from the main harness, you know, sort of the main bundle to the, the GTR, I'm sorry, not the GTR, <laughs> the GTN, the GTN 750XI, um, and all of their connectors, right? That's, that's the, probably the densest area because there's four or five connectors there. Um, and a lot of wires. So you can see, right, like that's roughly what it looks like and it's gonna be tightened up with zip ties and cleaned up uh, once we have everything else, everything else going. So what we're doing here at this point is really just pulling the wires, you know, from, from the bundles, from their individual little sub bundles to the specific spots where things are gonna go, to the, to the components. The components are all attached to the panel and the sub panel at this point. So we know where the connectors are and we know exactly where the wires are going to go. Um, and, uh, as we do this, as I set the, figure out the lengths, I cut all the wires to size, uh, scary part, right? Like you're, 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 this, this is it, right? Like you're cutting the wires to the size they're going to be. Um, and then we start terminating them, right? We start, uh, draining the shields, right? Cutting back the shields, draining them, putting pins on them, splicing things that have to be spliced. Like CAN bus in particular has to be spliced. And, uh, and then putting them in the connectors, right? In the connectors and then in the back shells, which is why you're seeing me refer a lot to, to the documentation here. Uh, you see it, there's always a, do a doc, uh, of course, as soon as I see that there isn't one, there's always a doc in my hand and, and on the, on the bench, right. For me to glance at. Um, it's also why there is stuff, <laughs> there's stuff scattered everywhere. If you, you know, like if you look at the the floor, the desk, the, the, the table, um, there's connector kit bags everywhere. There's, you know, it, it's honestly a little messy, <laughs> but, uh, so this is the, this is the spot where we've moved from, 
uh, mostly the planning uh, phase, right, where we were deciding where, uh, er, you know, early on when we were running this, we were deciding, okay, I'm going to run a discrete from here to here, I'm going to run a serial port from here to here, because you need to know the wires for that, right? So those wires are run. And now we've moved on to actually figuring out which pins on the connector are what. Um, so it, it's actually super easy. Uh, take a look, you know, at this point, you've already looked at the, the installation manuals, right? In particular, the Garmin installation manuals are very, very, very good. And you can look at those and say, okay, this connector, these pins do this, or these pins uh, do that. And that that's what we're using, right? Like we're, we're making sure that the labels are correct. We're making sure that the, the lengths are correct. We're making sure that the, you know, the pins are the right kind. I did at one point connect, you know, do a whole connector in male pins when it should have been female. Um, you know, just there's enough length there to, to lose uh, the uh, maybe an eighth <laughs> eighth of an inch um, but you know be careful with that kind of stuff um, and uh, the and, and there you know and there that's that's really it at this point right you're putting the pins in the connector you're making sure the the pins are correct um, you're terminating the you're draining the shields uh, sometimes to other shields sometimes you're just closing them out right so like check the manual it tells you exactly how uh, they want you to, to drain those shields and which side sometimes it's both sides sometimes it's just one side uh, be very careful with draining shields properly for audio pins right the analog audio pins that's where the noise is going to come in and that's your main one of your main ways of avoiding noise is properly uh, using proper shielded cable and making sure that there's no ground loops and things like that. Um, and, uh, and I mean, you can see here over and over, I'm doing the same thing, right? Like I'm, I'm setting the length of a wire, setting the routing of a wire as well, right? Of a little wire bundle uh, is important here because you don't want it rubbing on anything. You want it properly supported. Uh, the FA the FA has uh, guidelines on how often you have to support things, um, and you know follow those. AC forty three thirteen talks about this, uh, but the for for us the important thing was knowing that you know airplanes vibrate, airplanes move. You want to make sure that your wires aren't rubbing on anything. So you know judicious use of Adel clamps, right? Like create little brackets. Um, for things and use Adel clamps to support the bundles so that, you know, they don't get a chance to, to, to move around and rub on stuff um, and possibly cause you issues later on. Um, this is the, this is one of those situations where having good tools I find is, is really, really nice, right? Like a nice set of offset cutters here, um, I've learned make a insane difference on on the quality of, of the cuts and and the and making things look good same thing for for wire strippers right we talked about in the tools video that i made we talked about how i have uh, sort of the expensive version of the the wire strippers um and it it just makes things go smoother it makes things look easier one tool that i don't have on the top right there the red handled tool that's the vpx crimp tool um, I'm very thankful that they make that tool available for, for loan. Um, we borrowed that from, from Vertical Power. They mailed it to us. We're going to mail it back when we're done. And, uh, because it's a, it's a fairly expensive tool. We didn't have, I'll be honest, we didn't have a lot of luck with the cheap version of the crimper for those pins. Um, I believe those, there, there's some sort of Molex pins. I don't remember exactly which ones, um, uh, MX one fifty L's, I believe. Uh, we bought the cheap version of the tool um, from the usual vendors, and they did not provide crimps that we were happy with. I'll be honest. Um, so I reached out to Vertical Power and asked if we could borrow their their you know five hundred dollar crimper. <laughs> um, I don't know that it's that much. I know it's expensive. Uh, and they you know they were very nice and they mailed us mailed, mailed us crimp tool. Um, this was not a special, oh, you're making a video about this. I never mentioned that. I, I just said, I'm wiring this up, you know, and my crimps are coming out well. Can you lend me the tool? So um, my understanding is that they do that for any customer. So, you know, if you are not happy with the crimps for the regular tool, you know, you can reach out to them.
So this is um, this is really it for for the wiring. There isn't a ton of you know. It, it's really just a process, right? Like you're you're figuring out your routes, your 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 crimping stuff, your heat shrinking stuff, right? Like you're making sure the connectors go in the right place and are well supported. Um, this is sort of the final spot where you're going to, you know, really lock in where things go, right? Like if you look at the, the VPX box back there, we created those, those brackets to mount it there. It's sort of close to the firewall, but this is a location that they mentioned in the manual as a valid location. And it's actually pretty good because it's not something that is terribly fiddly, um, you know, like you're not messing with the VPX very much. You're you're configuring it probably once or twice. Oh, here we go. Um, once or twice, and that's it. Uh, so this is <laughs> we got done with all of that, um, and now it's come off the 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 panel, right? So the the panel has now been shipped to aircraft specialty for for powder coating and labeling right they they mailed us the panel just in the metal in the cut and now it's uh off to powder coat and label and we're just cleaning things up right like we're making sure all of the connectors are closed we're making sure um you know things are ready to move to the aircraft as usual thank you so much for watching and uh more to come